as a payments company, we have an obligation to our customers to launch secure, fast, and convenient payment methods. Uh, in order for our customers to leverage um, new payment methods to unlock new revenue streams. And that's exactly what open banking provides to them. In terms of why we decided to build that innovation, really for us, we wanted to be able to own and influence that payment rail. But beyond that, we wanted to be able to compete with you know, pure open banking players on cost um, and remove any dependencies we have them on the commercial arrangements with our customers. From an individual perspective, I think events like this allow us to you know, share ideas, challenge one another, um, debate, each, debate with each other. And I think it's hugely important for us as an organization that we do that. And then beyond that, I think you know, collectively, what it allows us to do is it creates an environment to you know, congratulate on what has been done over the last 12 months, but then look forward for the next 12 months as we look to you know, realize our ambitions of, of, of open finance and open pay payments as well. So I think request to pay will become a dominant force for invoice payments, bill, bill payments, and also for debt repayment. And that's really for the flexibility and control that it provides customers when wanting to manage their finances. Consumers will look for new motives to switch uh, providers. And those, I think service will increasingly play a factor in that. And I think companies that are able to offer requests to pay, supported by open banking payments, um, will yeah, see the benefit of that over the next couple of years for sure.